So hey everybody, this is Michael Goldsman, and I, I just want to talk to you for a minute about why energy clearing work doesn't seem to work. For some people, and in some instances, depending of course on the person and the technique that you're working with. I have many people who come to me, and people are sensitive, they're intuitive, that's why they know they need energy clearing work. And many people give me similar stories that they feel that there are entities or discarnate beings or somehow unclear energies they've picked up from different environments. They feel these energies around them. They feel them sometimes plaguing them, interrupting them in other even more significant ways. And they ask, can we clear these energies? And of course, the answer is always yes. You can always clear these energies. Some people find that the energies get cleared and within a matter of hours or days they feel the energies back again. The same, worse, different energies with the same types of energies. Um, even if you clear someone of certain entities, they may, uh, other entities may even come back depending on the situation. And why is that? Well, I started to really realize after 10 years of doing this kind of work that there are really kind of two things, two main areas of clearing that we're dealing with. We're dealing with the seemingly external, the stuff like beings, for instance, earthbound spirits can get attached to we who are living, our energy fields, and they can interfere and interrupt. That might be an example of something external to us that's kind of coming in and attaching and we need to clear that out. However, there are also what you might call internal things to clear for people. And this is the whole realm of someone's subconscious mind. Subconscious mind isn't a part of the brain necessarily. It's not really even part of the physical world. You could even say the subconscious mind has all of our thoughts, beliefs, programs, even past life stuff, karma that's gotten wrapped up, we don't even know what it is most of the time, and it's still there affecting us. As a matter of fact, the subconscious mind could be thought of really as a magnet. It attracts to us things that are in vibrational harmony with it. And so if our subconscious mind, not many of us often have this, but subconscious mind is totally attuned to prosperity and totally attuned to health and totally attuned to living life full out in every possible way, we will tend to manifest that law of attraction, what we are vibrating to in the subconscious mind will tend to manifest externally. Now, if we take this analogy to uh, clearing, someone thinks, because they notice what's external to them or they notice what's attaching into them, I have these attachments, I have these entities, I have these discarnates or these other beings and these un things that are sticking into my energy field that I've picked up, that's what they notice oftentimes and we clear those away. However, there are subconscious beliefs and programs within them of interference, of self-sabotage, of sometimes things like self-hatred or self-punishment even. These things we're not always aware of because most of them originated in past lifetimes, but they're all curled up and stored up in the subconscious mind. We can clear this external stuff, but the subconscious mind as a magnet will keep attracting to us events, situations, even darker energies that are in vibrational harmony with our vibration. So we have to clear external and we have to clear internal. When that starts to happen, well, all of a sudden the origination of why we're attracting circumstances and situations, not only energetically, but also people who might victimize us, situations that might victimize us, the reason why we're attracted them in the first place, that begins to be cleared at its core. And therefore, we don't have to manifest those situations anymore. So, this is just a little overview of what internal, subconscious, karmic kinds of clearing and external entity and spirit releasing and chakra clearing, all of that is all about, why both are really important. Uh, again, my name is Michael Goldsman. My website, you can click below this video, it's clearandconnect.com. And I invite you to contact me with any questions, thoughts you have about this video, uh, or any way that I can look at your energy field and see what types of clearing might be most beneficial to you. Peace and blessings. Until next time.